Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Raghavan Mishra and uh, in this video we will see how to put a test ng assertion to verify that the API response we get using REST assured testing is correct and as expected. So you can see this program basically the, uh, in the previous video we have uh, created this program right and we actually run this and we got the response from the API. So this is this was the get request okay and I have given the URL which you can see over here in the rec, rec, rec response site okay so this was the end point let me just go back and uh, see. yeah so this was that list user and this was the response we were getting okay so how to verify whether we have got the status code and uh, uh, stuff like that right so we can uh, validate certain points while putting assertion test engine assertion on the response right so we can validate various part of the api response such as status code header body content and all that right so you get body uh, content and status line get time status code so here uh, let us you know verify the status code whether we are getting the 200 or not so you as you can see on the console but how would you uh, tell that test ng to pass or fail your test case based on the response you are expecting right so here it has passed okay because you have not put any assertion as such rather i mean it has executed whatever line of code you have written inside the get request method okay so let me put assertion over here uh, and before that let me store the actual response actual response in one variable and then I will just store it in the status code okay and then what I can do I will just put assertion test in the assertion and uh, asserts equals method which should be uh, asserts equal and uh, I will put actual and then this is the actual response right so I can put this here actual response and here I can expect whatever i want to okay so if i am expecting that this particular you know endpoint or api returns me 200 and based on this particular you know uh, that response 200 if it is uh, validating or it is uh, returning the 200 then it should this test case should pass or fail right so that this particular you know assertion will decide okay so let me run and uh, see the result I'll save and let's run okay so you can see this particular you know test has been passed you can see the console also so this assertion yeah passed get request is passed and uh, let me just also add to some some other value right in order to make sure if this particular session works fine or not okay so we are expecting 200 and here okay so basically this response should match with this uh, particular you know status uh, 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 code 200 200 is for the successful execution of uh, the uh, request okay here i am giving 201 so actually is this and the expectation and expectation is 201 so which is not matching so in this case it should fail right so see the test case has failed okay let us see the failure and why it is failed okay so expected was 201 but found 200 so actual was uh, 200 okay and expectation was 201 okay so this is how you can validate the response of the api so all right uh, so that's in that's it in this video and i hope you have liked the explanation and learned from this video please do like and subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and also share the feedback in comment section i will uh, cover more and more topics uh, related to the rest assured and uh, in the in the next video in this channel so please keep in touch 
and uh, thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video till then keep learning